So today I'm out getting some exercise with my camera. I'm out for about 20 minutes and I'm walking around uh, Litchfield. Now, if you don't know where Litchfield is, it's in the Midlands, it's on my doorstep and it's one of the smallest cities in England. There's a bit of a fact for you. Probably the only one I've got as well. Now today I have my Canon R6 with me with my 24 through to 105 millimeter lens. This is the F4 RF version. Now, the first photo I wanted to capture was just of this couple which were walking towards the cathedral spire here. I thought this would be framed quite nicely. And I just thought I'd capture this to see how it came out. Unfortunately, that pig sign got in the way. It was a bit annoying. But you can see that today the conditions, they're not great. Very moody, overcast, and certainly not the conditions that I would pick if I was out and about. But today is just about having a little bit of fun and showing you guys, you know, my whole kind of procedure as I'm walking around and yeah, really what kind of photos I'd take on my travels. Now I've just saw this door here and I love the contrast between the dark door and this plant pot thing at the front and I just thought I'd capture it. And I think it works really well. You've got the beautiful coloured flowers and the black door there. Now, when I'm taking photos like this, I'm just walking around capturing quick photos. I usually shoot aperture priority, keep it nice and simple. And then I will just kind of flip between exposure compensation if I need to go a little bit darker. Because sometimes the highlights can get a little bit uh, high and you never want to push your highlights too high, do you? Because then you can't get your details back. I really like the way these arches are here. And it's just like a nice strong leading line with this brickwork. So I thought I'd capture this and see how it came out. If I can get the bricks nice and red, this could look good. There's actually more people around than I thought there would be today um, because of, uh, you know, the lockdown and things like that. Um, but yeah, everyone's social distancing, so I'm sure they're getting the shopping or they're going for a walk, so it's all okay. Now, whenever I'm out and my dad's in tow, he will always find a shop to go and treat himself to sweets and things. So I just let him get on with it and I'll check my photos. I'm just looking around, there's three dodgy people there checking me out. Now, I'm sure it's not for my good looks. It might be for my camera gear. Now I've just saw this framed up here, which I think is really nice. You've got this strong frame here and then you've got the cathedral spire in the background. So hopefully this comes out the way I'd imagined it. What I've done here is I've focused on the actual brickwork itself and that's just so I blurred the background out. I think that worked quite well. Okay, he has his paper, he has his sweets and he is happy. Let's go. Now it's around about this time, I realized unfortunately that my GoPro battery was running out and I needed to quickly flick that over. So that's why you'll see me jump here. Now, about 10 minutes later, a bit down the road, I've actually come to this flower bed, which looks pretty dull, or should I say it doesn't look that great for a photo, but you can see that actually this works pretty well. And what I wanted to do was just frame up the nice bright flowers, but moody background there. Now just heading down around here, this is the kind of outskirts of the city centre. Now because Litchfield is so small, uh, it doesn't take you long to get around the city centre. Um, but this kind of water here is nice, but it's not really great for grabbing any photos. So I decided to kind of turn around here and just head back the other way. Now at this point my dad started uh, fish spotting, something he likes to do apparently. And uh, yeah, he thought I didn't want a photo of him, but actually I do. I get a photo of my old man, it's nice. And just capture one of him here. Just using these railings as a leading line. Now one thing I love about the R6 is the quality of the photos this camera produces. It's just brilliant, it really is. Now luckily I spotted this in the distance, this house just popping through the trees and the reflection. And I thought, I'm going to take a go at this and see if it comes out the way I imagine it in my head. 
I'm really happy with this. I think it's a nice, strong picture. It's got kind of a moody look, and you could almost apply a story to it quite easily. Just around the corner from where the water was, I knew that the cathedral is conveniently placed, so I decided to kind of take five or ten minutes quickly around the cathedral just to capture some photos of this kind of iconic building in Litchfield. Now, you can never turn down a, a door like this, can you, or a gauge to say. So I just decided to frame this up quickly and then just take a snap of it. Still do. A lot of the times when I'm walking around, I just get a feel for a photo. Sometimes I don't even see kind of a composition. It's almost like I get a feeling. I'm like, okay, I feel like that would work. And then I just capture it. And I'd say this is one of those such examples. It's, it's nothing special, but it's just, uh, you know, I saw the this wall leading into it and I just thought, you know, this could work pretty well. A pretty average photo, to be honest with you. Maybe my feeling was a little bit off this time. So this opens up to the cathedral, right? And this is a really, really impressive building. Most cathedrals are, of course. Um, but I wanted to kind of get closer to the spires here and then take a photo where I was shooting up at them and you could really kind of get that perception of how high the building is. And uh, yeah, so what I decided to do was just get a little bit closer and frame it up here and then just take a picture, as you will see in a minute, Nothing special, but it just shows you kind of the height and the size of the building. Now, one of the most impressive things about the cathedral in Litchfield is the detail on the front of this building. It is mind-blowing, honestly. Now, you will see in a moment I take a picture and you will see how much detail there is in this building. But I couldn't turn down the opportunity to take a picture of the main doors here, which are framed up lovely in this archway. So I just decided to frame this up with my camera and just capture a picture. On your way, kid, I'm shooting photography here. So now the kid's out of the way, I thought, okay, let's take my picture and you should be able to see how impressive this door is. This handle just stood out to me straight away. It probably doesn't look like anything special and maybe the photo won't show it, but there's just so much detail in this. And it just, I just felt like there was a strong story in this handle of this door. So I just thought I'd catch a picture and you'll see what it looks like. I didn't want to spend too long at the cathedral. It's a beautiful building, but I don't want to bore you guys. So I wanted to get a picture here, framing this old lamp style light up against the front of the building, just so you can really see for yourself how much detail there is in this building. It's incredible. So I just wanted to capture a quick picture, get it in black and white so it stands out even more and you'll see for yourself. Now, it's never a shot I'd choose, but it's kind of the souvenir shot when you go to a place, uh, you gotta capture the kind of whole cathedral just to say you've got it. Uh, so yeah, I thought I've got to do this before I leave the cathedral behind and head back to the city centre to so just capture this. And it's a beautiful building. Why wouldn't you capture it? Now on the way back into town, I just noticed that there was this uh, war memorial that my dad told me there was over here and that it would make a nice photo uh, framed up with this foreground of this bush here. Quite colourful and punchy I've made it and contrasty. Now, just to prove to you guys at this point that not every single photo in this video is going to be a portrait style photo, I can actually take a landscape one as well. Uh, I thought I'd just quickly take one here. Not my most impressive shot either, but hey, there's a landscape style one for you. Now heading back into the city center, this is the other side of the very small city. and. Um, when I was walking down here, I just loved the way the styling of this font was against the window and it just popped out to me. So I thought, I've got to take a picture of this. And uh, yeah, I just think it looks really nice, actually. Nothing special, not the best framing there, but it just, it looked nice. So I thought I'd capture it. Now, I was just shooting down here and this woman thought I was taking a photo of her. So 
you can have yourself. You can do, love. I mean, I'm not taking a picture. I'm not taking a picture of you, but come on. <laughs> I really wasn't taking a picture of her either. So I decided to walk a little bit further down here and just see if anything stood out to me. You find that when you're walking along, you go through these periods where for one minute you feel inspired by things and things jump out at you. And then maybe the brain gets a little bit tired and then things start jumping out and it starts becoming quite difficult to find photos. But my dad actually pointed out here this... Um, this little city centre walkthrough and the idea that he presented to me is that you've got the kind of new and old world so you've got these new style shops which are in here and then it's framed in the distance with this old school uh, post box which I just think's lovely not the greatest photo but I love the story of it Now, unfortunately, at this time, this is when I started to realise that my battery, uh, sorry, not my battery, my SD card was about to run out and actually I hadn't grabbed a backup. So this is the last photo that you'll see, but actually one of my favourites, surprisingly, and just because of the mood that this captures. I just love this photo and one of my favourites of the day. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video today. This is something different on the channel and not something I've done previously, but it's something I'm going to do a little bit more and hopefully I can start introducing it uh, a lot more actually in future when the lockdown is eased and things hopefully get back to normal. But I want to thank you for joining me in the video today, guys. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you here at Ben's Guide. And hey, listen, whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, Make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.